One of the more fearsome possibilities associated when touching down on a planet within Starfield is the encounter that you're going to have with life. That includes other people, but it also includes the various creatures and wildlife that will be within Starfield. And in today's video, we're going to be going through absolutely everything you need to know. So you may be aware we've talked about it in many videos and it has been plastered absolutely everywhere in advertising. There is over a thousand planets in Starfield, but only 10% of those will include life, leaving us with a mere 100. I know it's still a lot though. And with each of those planets that do contain life, it's not just going to be one single creature. There's going to be quite a few. And there's been some that have already been revealed from what we have seen within gameplay. We're not going to be going through each and every single one of them individually, but we're going to be highlighting a couple. But firstly, let's talk about the design. You may have heard that planets within Starfield are procedurally generated. And because Starfield being a space game, it was heavily linked to or even compared to No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky also had procedurally generated planets, but they also had procedurally generated animals, aliens, wildlife creatures, you name it. Everything was procedurally generated. And that led to some problems some very weird creations on day one of release. Bethesda have taken a different approach. Yes, the planets are procedurally generated, but every single creature within game is handcrafted. There's been a lot of thought going into these creations. Bethesda weren't looking just to create alien life. They wanted to create something that felt habitable to that planet and will react very similar to what we know with wildlife on our planet, how that reacts to the environment. So as you're exploring a planet, and if there is life on that planet, you may see wildlife grazing. That has already been revealed within the gameplay. And it's these little details that are there to make this world feel much more immersive, much more in depth. But do be warned, not every single animal that you come across is going to be friendly and happy for you to just look upon them whilst they're doing their thing. There will be planets that contain life, which is way more aggressive than others. Not only will you need to land on a planet and make sure that there's no other enemy factions within close proximity, but you'll also need to go and do the exact same thing with wildlife. But that's not the only thing. Todd Howard, within an interview, also spoke about how aggressive wildlife actually became a problem. Predator creatures can actually kill all the peaceful creatures, if given a chance. Now, within the interview, it sounded like this was an issue on early iterations of the game. Potentially something that they didn't encounter. And maybe this is something that won't be there on the full release. But based on what has since been said, it's likely that this is going to be toned back a bit, but still a high possibility, potentially even linking into some sort of event where you do go into an area and all wildlife is completely dead. Everything surrounding you is on the floor, signifying that there is a predator very close by. And this is exactly what you would expect within any type of food chain. It makes sense for this to happen. And that's what Bethesda are going for here. But just like how wildlife will interact with other wildlife, there's also the option for you to interact with wildlife yourself. Yes, of course, if a creature becomes aggressive, you can interact by putting bullets for it to kill it. But there's also skills that you'll be able to unlock as time goes on, which will allow you to have mind control over aliens. We actually got a quick glimpse of this within the trailers and gameplay when it showed the Xeno social tab allowing you to have the option of pacify, flee, frenzy, or control over the alien in front of the character, which is pretty cool. There are limitations to this, however, unfortunately, there is no way for you to tame or even mount any of these creatures, despite having mind control over them. So you can't be using them to travel around the world at a faster pace than you just walk in. Unfortunately, there are no vehicles, there's nothing on land which will allow you to do this. You cannot go from point A to point B any quicker with these creatures. And to be honest, I think this is certainly a missed opportunity, but it is what it is. When you do first initially land on a planet, you are given information of what's actually on the planet. So this is the number of resources, the fauna and flora, all of which will be available. 
and the whole purpose of this game is for you to scan everything everything that is on offer including the wildlife and by doing so you'll be able to sell that data for credits which will give you plenty of rewards to make your character smarter and even stronger but the reason i say all of this is whilst you're in the process of scanning various creatures you'll also find out some things which you may not have expected we touched on it earlier how creatures can be aggressive but some will have special abilities some that have been seen contain long ranged attacks whereas others will also have fire damage almost sounds like we're not talking about alien creatures but instead pokemon but this is what you'll need to look out for as you scan wildlife you will gather more information about them and if you do decide to take them on as a challenge you'll need to understand their weaknesses and their strengths Likewise, if there are resources for you to collect from animals so that you would be able to go and use those for crafting, you need to know exactly where those resources are coming from. What type of animals will you need to track down and kill? And the last thing to say about these creatures is that they will be available in multiple biomes. When you do initially scan, it does give this information telling you exactly what type of biomes you'll be able to find these creatures and thankfully so far from what has been revealed although it is still too early to say it does appear that these creatures won't be available on multiple planets because that would raise some questions how did they manage to go from one planet to another if this does happen as long as there is a narrative to actually suggest why this happened then that would make sense but if not then hopefully this isn't going to be a thing for most they'll just believe that this is pure laziness to not create more creatures and instead just drag and drop them into new areas if it is done there just needs to be some sort of narrative behind it and that brings us on to our final point advanced intelligent alien life we really know nothing about this within starfield of course there are other humans and there's situations where you'll find other humans who are unaware that there are other humans and there have been some theories floating around of why that may be the most popular one and the one that seems the most likely in my head is before earth was completely destroyed with whatever event that may be the first lot of spaceships that did leave earth were unaware what happened after they could potentially have lost contact and then thought that earth destroyed it blew up whatever happened or whatever they expect to happen finally happened but somehow floating off in space they managed to build a life for themselves believing that they were the last survivors of earth that is certainly plausible as for advanced alien life we're really not too sure although there's a few images which have people coming up with theories this one for example which does show the character but in the red circle it also shows that there's something off in a distance it'll be safe to assume that this is just another npc but at the exact same time it doesn't look like they're wearing a spacesuit or at least it's more high tech even smaller fits to the body are much closer compared to the one that our character's wearing and we cannot forget that there is this ancient alien artifact which is pretty much the centerpiece for the main story as of right now it's been included within every gameplay reveal and every trailer whatever this is must be pointing to something that happened way before advanced alien life some sort of magical event we're really not too sure but that doesn't stop the theories and as we were talking about alien creatures within this video it made sense to bring them up so let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below based on the creatures that have been revealed what's your thoughts on them and do you also believe that there will be advanced alien life as part of starfield which they're just holding back they refuse to actually reveal as of right now if you enjoyed this video then i highly recommend clicking the next video on screen that video will go through 48 details that you must know before the release of starfield and we're really not too far away now so click that video and i'll be over there to guide you through absolutely everything i hope you enjoy